You guys having fun over there? Good. Nah. Okay. So it was Eric Bollard's birthday last night, and no one noticed. Well, except for me. I sent the Media Matters Mopa a bouquet of edible underwear, since it may be one of the few things George Soros won't pay for. But what a gloomy day for EB. He has just one job, watching Fox News in his tie-dye onesie, and he screwed that up. Days ago, his hive of hacks mistook a Leno skit for a Fox special report clip, and this caused them to issue a regret-the-error note. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not a big deal. People make mistakes like this all the time. I made seven of them in the last sentence. However, it should offer a moment of contemplation for Eric as that curved line of middle age descends towards death. This is what you do for a living, and you don't do it well. Think about it. Your job is to focus on media bias. But because the media world, i.e. TV news, motion pictures, the art world, newspapers, academia, all forms of pop music and pop culture are liberal, it leaves your progressive outfit, outfit with one real target, Fox News. So that's got to tell you something. If your time is consumed needling just one outlet, that says you're on the bloated side of liberal bias, or else you would have many more targets. And yet you still mucked it up. You're like the kid in class whose only assignment is to carry around an egg, a lesson of responsibility, and you dropped it. That's got to be a sign. As another birthday passes, it's time to do something an adult can be proud of. Churning out repetitive spurts of envious whining doesn't make for a life, even if Soros pays dearly for it. An alternative, pressed flower craft. It's like decoupage, but with pressed flowers. And if you disagree with me, you're worse than Hitler. So, you know, uh, he had a birthday party, uh, Media Matters uh, senior fellow, but we don't know how, how he spent it. But you know what? The robots did. Surprise. Surprise what, Clive? Surprise. Fox has surrendered. We won. Really? Wait, does that mean we have to look for real jobs? I kid. Fox hasn't surrendered yet. But we're getting close. The surprise is, it's a surprise birthday party. For you. But where's everyone? It's just you. Yes, well. It's a surprise that I am here. Is Mr. Soros coming? No. Today he has an appointment to get his belly button lint cleaned out. Would you like to play a game? Where is everybody? What kind of game can you and I play? Let's have a staring fight. Ready, set, go! That was fun. How come I have no friends, Clive? <laughs> That's the greatest party yeah, ever. No. <laughs> Doesn't it make you cry? Mm. Mm, Media matters? No. I, mean, it's, 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 uh, I, I hope you got burned by the birthday candles. Yeah. Mm. If your fox is only target, isn't that kind of sad? Hugely sad. Yes. Well, first of all, he was a muppet for not doing his research. Big <laughs> muppet. Second of all, having to watch Fox News all day must be a complete nightmare. I sent a clip. Careful. To my, <laughs> I sent a clip to my mum of Fox News last week. Okay, just five minutes. She wasn't familiar with Fox News. Yes. She emailed back going. Darling, they're very insufferable, aren't they? <laughs> and she's as right wing as they come, and she comes from the UK. And she, anyway. Uh, really. Lauren, wouldn't you question your existence if you had that kind of job? Uh, I, I, yes. Yes. I question my existence on many levels. <laughs> I, I, I wish I had that kind of job. To be honest with you, there are so many people that do that job for free. There are so many Fox <laughs> fans that watch endlessly hour after hour, and then there's so many Fox haters that watch endlessly hour after hour that know exactly what's going on. So. I'm sure one of them could probably do it better, but I gotta tell you, I was confused in the beginning there. I thought we were talking about Eric Bowling, and I didn't understand why. <laughs> I did too. Well, if we were, that guy would not have been wearing a tie. Yeah. And his cough <laughs> wigs would have been awesome. <laughs> Down to here. These are That's guys his style. who just got an extra million dollars a year from George Soros to watch Fox and find something to complain about. And this is a totally futile existence. It's the greatest. It's not going to change anything. I can promise you media matters. It's the greatest scam in the world. Getting paid to sit home and watch TV. You cannot beat that. These guys are geniuses. They go to the office to do that. Oh, really? They have yeah. an office? Yeah, the they clock in. Oh, that's a big letdown. I was kind of hoping they just stuck around. They were in their jammies. Well, can't you really call anything an office? Yeah. I mean, I sleep under here. I call it a home. <laughs> that but, is you know. You know, right.